Welcome to the video for changing the gunnels on your composite Mad River canoe. The first thing you'll want to do is visit your local Mad River canoe dealer to order any necessary hardware along with the actual replacement gunnels for your specific canoe model. Another thing to have ready are the necessary tools to perform the installation. So pause this video and take a look at the list. Now that you have the right tools handy, you'll want to uninstall any hardware on the canoe that is in the way of removing the old gunnels and the old deck plates. This typically includes thwarts and canoe seats. Don't forget to mark the locations of the thwarts and canoe seats before removing them, keeping the necessary hardware for reinstallation after you install the new gunnels. Now that you've removed the thwarts and canoe seats, we can move on to the deck plates and gunnel removal. Take the deck plates off first. This particular canoe model utilizes pop rivets to secure the gunnels to the canoe hull. These pop rivets must be drilled out using a number 7 drill bit as shown. Be sure not to drill through the old gunnels into the canoe wall. You may even want to use a pair of pliers to steady the rivets as you remove them. Using the number 7 drill bit, begin on one end and work your way down the old gunnel removing all pop rivets and taking care not to puncture further into the canoe hull. As you remove the gunnel, note how the inner and outer pieces fit together. You will need to replicate this fit as you install the new gunnels. Once all of the rivets are removed, the old gunnels will come loose easily. Once you have removed the deck plates and the gunnels, it's time to install the new gunnels. When installing, take note of the pre-marked drill points on the new rails. Begin the installation by aligning the two center points on the inner and outer pieces. Insert inner rail into the black aluminum outer rail. The widest side of the silver inner rail will be tucked up into the lip of the outer rail, then clamped in place. It is important that when placing the clamps, you do not cover the pre-marked drill locations for the pop rivets. Using this method, Secure the two gunnel pieces to the side of the canoe wall using as many clamps as you have available. Now it's time to drill the holes. Drill a hole and place a pop rivet in each hole before drilling and setting the next rivet. This will make the process much easier by keeping the rails aligned properly throughout the installation. Once the rivets nearest the clamps have been set, you can remove the clamps and repeat the process further down the gunnel. Clamp, drill the hole, place the rivet, and then set the rivet. Before setting the rivets, place pressure to force the top of the new gunnel down onto the canoe hole to ensure an even and tight fit. Note that the end rivet for each rail will be drilled, placed, and set vertically instead of horizontally. Repeat this installation process to install the gunnel on the opposite side of the canoe. Once both of the new gunnels have been installed, mark the existing deck plate holes with a non-permanent marker as shown here. This will let you know where to drill the holes to install the new deck plates. Once your deck plate drill locations have been marked, it's time to install the deck plates. With both gunnels installed, slide the new deck plate over the end of the canoe and push so that the front of the deck plate fits flush against the stem of the canoe and down firmly on the new gunnels. Depending on the canoe model, you may find that you can reuse your original deck plates. If the original drill locations in the old deck plate will align with the original drill locations in the canoe wall, then you can reuse them. If the original drill locations do not match up with the original drill locations in the deck plate, then you will need to use your new deck plates. This is why you marked the original deck plate drill locations on the sidewall of your canoe. If the old deck plates don't work, place the new deck plate snugly into position. Using your number 7 drill bit, drill a hole through both the deck plate and the canoe wall. To ensure strong rivet placement, 
Drill the new hole so that it is a half inch from the edge of the back side of the deck plate, nearest the gunnels. Once drilled, insert the rivet in the hole from the outside and place a backing washer over the shank of the rivet from the inside, then set the rivet. You will want to repeat this process for the same hole on the opposite side of the same deck plate. Once these two have been set, you can evenly space two more rivet locations on each side of the deck plate using your pre-marked drill points. Drill your hole, set your rivet, install the backing washer, and then set the rivet. Repeat this process to install both new deck plates. To complete the installation, use your number 7 bit and drill a drain hole in the front center of each new deck plate. 